Michael or Mihael? Hey guys, Ami here, and welcome back to another mech guide video, this time focusing on the newest angel mech, Michael. With a low skill floor and one of the highest skill ceilings in the game, I can safely say that Michael is one of the most exhilarating mechs out there to pilot. So just how strong is Michael? Let's get right into it. Michael's primary, Featherblade, files projectiles in a straight line at an above average velocity. These are pretty accurate on their own, so you can reliably hit enemies pretty far off. Michael's primary deals a decent 210 damage at base. Enough not to be ignored by enemies, but not enough to discourage some mechs from tanking it during an assault. The projectiles can sometimes get caught in terrain, so it's usually better to aim a little above the ground to avoid this. You can also fire from a higher elevation for the same effect. His secondary weapon, Whirling Dagger, is essentially a shotgun that fires in three stages. Whirling Dagger's first two stages fire daggers in diagonal slashes, forming an X formation. Stage 3 of Whirling Dagger fires more daggers in the complete X-shaped pattern at slightly less damage per projectile, but more damage overall. Despite behaving similar to a shotgun, the daggers still travel in a nearly straight line and travel a decent amount of distance before disappearing, so these can still be used at medium-short range to deal heavy blows to the enemy, especially towards larger targets like Firestar. Michael's combat skill, Piercing Feather, comes in two parts. Stage 1 is a spiral charge forward, piercing it through any mecha in the way for 200 damage. Stage 2 is a backwards dash, releasing a short AoE in front of him that deals 300 damage to any mecha within range. So with his combat skill alone, Michael can easily deal 500 damage to an enemy, all while maintaining a high advantage over his enemies. His jump is a regular jump that consumes less fuel compared to most other mecha. Since his charge now consumes a slight amount of fuel, you won't want to be spamming these jumps too recklessly. Michael's Razor Cyclone increases the hitbox for his primary weapon projectiles, making it more difficult for enemy mechs to dodge your attacks. Because of this, Razor Cyclone is the most consistent attack mod option available. Charging Sheath, on the other hand, reduces the cooldown for a secondary. This module shines best around buildings and other structures, where you'll have more chances to flank the enemy. But in the hands of an experienced Michael pilot, his secondary can be used as a versatile mid-range weapon, capable of pulling off plays such as wearing down Doom Shields. So if you can efficiently aim with your primary, the extra DPS from this module can really help you pull off some plays you otherwise wouldn't be able to. Both modules are strong in different situations. In that sense, the ability to choose a module loadout before confirming your mech really helps. Close Contact Mark reduces the damage from mecha struck with Michael's primary for a duration of 3 seconds. The debuff can only be triggered on an individual enemy once every 10 seconds, so you can effectively have this buff active around 30% of the time. Since you'll be firing your primary throughout most of the fight, this is overall the better module. His block program module reduces incoming damage while firing his secondary, making close quarters combat slightly more viable. But if you do run this module, I recommend you run the next module coming up. Pneumatic optimization increases the distance covered with both stages of Michael's charge skills. This module makes Michael one of the most flexible and mobile mechs in the game in terms of medium range movement. With the blue module, you can easily cross gaps and even scale a Yumi castle in a matter of seconds. And up close, the increased dash distance also makes it more viable to dash around enemies, similar to Arthur, all while dishing out a flurry of feathers and daggers. Alternatively, Function Disturbance inflicts enemy mechs with a 10% movement debuff. The mobility reduction makes it easier for your allies to focus and burst down enemies. Though without pneumatic optimization, both of Michael's dashes will feel like slightly longer versions of Andromeda's perfect step. Rushing in to apply the DLF in solos is often too risky, given the amount of damage you're likely to take in the process and the lack of distance with his charge skills. Mihael's Core 1 Meltdown Command makes his feathers thrown with his primary stick to enemies, detonating for 40 damage after a couple seconds. That's effectively around a 20% damage buff to his primary, making it hurt just about as much as Arthur's primary at 250 damage. But there's another aspect to Core 1 that most players tend to overlook. The delayed damage from Core 1 makes it so enemies need to wait much longer to recover their shields, and with the high fire rate of Michael's primary, plus Mihail's overall high mobility, Michael can effectively keep enemy mech shields down for the entire fight. Core 2 Overload Command slightly increases the number of daggers thrown, at the cost of increased spread, reduced range, and random trajectory. 
If you do manage to get close enough to the enemy, you can easily deal massive damage to the enemy mecha. For my primary base module loadout, I use Razor Cyclone, Close Contact Mark, and Pneumatic Optimization. And for my preferred module loadout, I recently took a liking to playing Charging Sheath, Close Contact Mark, and Pneumatic Optimization. The 8-10% secondary cooldown is just too huge to pass up, and since I'm confident in my aim without the help of Razor Cyclone, I find Charging Sheath to be the only attack module for Michael to benefit my playstyle. Moving on to tech modules. The mobility modules I use for all of my Michael builds are Quick Cooldown Plan, Augment Shield, and Impact Armor. These tech modules provide a healthy amount of survivability with a bonus 2% secondary weapon recovery for, all for a small boost in DPS. My secondary build features Improved Chamber, Rapid Mag, and Assault Program as its modules. This build focuses on having your secondary weapon ready as much as possible, with some added fire rate and short range damage to help. With good mobility and secondary usage, you can force enemy players to focus you, similar to Hurricane, making it easier for your team to pick them off. For my fire rate build, I run Assault Program, Bombardment Chip, and Optimal Reloading. This build focuses on making Michael's primary as annoying as possible to the enemy. The tech modules put together do make Michael slightly stronger overall, but you'll want to have Core 1 equipped to feel the full benefit of this build. For my velocity build, I run Hyper Fire, Penetration Command, and Efficient Reload. Since your primary projectiles travel faster, enemies will have a significantly less time to dodge your attacks. And as a bonus, you can land a lot more of your own shot to any range. This build fires slightly slower compared to the Fire Rate build, at the benefit of having a more noticeable effect in combat, even without a core. I prefer my Velocity build, Secondary build, and Fire Rate build in that order if that helps at all. For mecha skills, I recommend Combat Control and Hive Infrastructure. Final Verdict is also a viable option, but only if you have it near maxed out. The most important thing to develop as a Michael player is good movement, just like with Hot Steel and Andromeda. Fittingly, Michael's dashes are a sort of love child between Hot Steel's omnidirectional dash and Andromeda's perfect step. Explaining how best to use Michael's dash skills is kind of hard to put into words, so I'll let the gameplay throughout the guide give you a taste of just how creatively you can apply his dashes. One tactic all Michael should know though is to dash straight into the enemy, or around the enemy, and then use the second dash to boost yourself above them. By the time the enemy finishes tracking you, you will have done 500 damage while setting yourself up for at least another easy 400. Primary shots with Core 1 don't have to hit enemies directly in order to stick. If you plant your feathers into the environment, they will still explode after a couple seconds, dealing the same 40 damage within a small AoE. So you can purposefully set up mini traps with this also, or rig an entrance to a building before you rush in as a pilot. Landing a single dagger at long range will reset the enemy mech's shield recovery cooldown, keeping the enemies on their back foot. This is especially useful against mechs with a large frame or have low shield recharge rate, whereas Hot Seal for example has both. Charging into jump pads around the map conserves your momentum, allowing you to bounce a far distance and still have your second dash to travel even farther. Michael's versatile attack options and superior mobility give him the potential to turn the tide of battle in seconds. When it comes to playing on the team, Michael's proficiency fills the wildcard, scout, and DPS roles in teams. Michael feels like a good center between the playstyles of a superior hot steel, Andromeda, and Ventoris combined. And as such, experience with any of these mecha should carry over in part to this mech. Being one of the most engaging and creative mechs given to us, Michael is only limited by the pilot's skill and imagination. So is Michael strong? Of course. And is Michael worth playing? Absolutely. But that's it for the guide, and that's the end of the video. Be sure to drop a like if it helped, it really does help the channel and help get videos out there to more people. Thank you everyone for watching. See you guys next time. Ami out.